Good morning everyone. So I think uh, we are fascinating into one of the most very beautiful session for today. And I think we are known in a world living with only humans. We are uh, creating a world where both humans and AI exist. All, you know, in the society we have more concerns, right? Two the placements of AI are going to be in threat to the humans, but not exactly. It is leading to a development of humans. So, oh, welcome everyone to today's session of AI, where I am here to present my topic on what human intelligence versus artificial intelligence. You know, we are humans. No, at all, the AI has been a tool which is developed by humans, right? So at many points, we human always coexist. What makes AI different from humans? Can you tell me what is the exact or what is the main point? What makes human different from AI? Yeah, we have emotions, right? Do we have emotions? Do AI have emotions? No. What human? Yeah, human intelligence or cognitive skills and developments do exist. But artificial intelligence is referring to what human has developed and brought up a change. Or it is going to help humans in different ways to develop or help them in their own means of transport and everything. So let's talk about humans of human intelligence, creativity. So let's move to what human intelligence is and create merits. First of all, I'll talk about creativity. Isn't AI the best example of the creativity of humans? Yes, yes, I do. And we have emotional intelligence. With the AI which has been developed by humans or reference, we do have as the emotional intelligence. And the third one is the exact one, it's critical thinking. Humans are the one who has the best ability for the critical thinking through which we has brought up a very fascinating changes in the developing world. We know we are having a very manifested thing in with us. That's our brain. Our brain controls uh, contains of man, numerous sites of neurons where neurons are developing. Neurons are produced. We know how we are receiving. If you're just asking for something, messages, or we just need anything, updations, within seconds, within just a moment, we are able to connect to the world. We are able to have very few moments. It's within a few minutes. And Still now the scientists, everyone are not even able to know how really the human brain works. How, what is the exact um, the behind the human brain? We still, the scientists, everyone are not even able to get the correct, accurate idea how do the brain of the human intelligence works. Isn't it a very fascinating feature of the God given to the humans? Yes, I do. Next one is adaptivity. We are able to adapt to the, any of the situations and at any of the situations women are or the whole the society are capable from to produce or to settle down at any situation. So we are adaptive to every situation. Next one is moral and ethical judgment. We are living in this society, right? And we all do have moral judgments and everything. But not like others, humans are capable for having the judgment or whether the situation is okay, whether the process is okay. We are able or we are having that feature. We are having to judge the how I to grow up, how the society has to be developed. Now all it is the future of the human intelligence. Okay, so I think this is one of the best slides that I have prepared for you. It's the benefits in the various sectors. Even before the coming of AI intelligence, we know only humans did exist, right? But we all were having a harmonious society where human has brought up a very good health care. And it is having now, but after the creation of AI, it has brought up very forced and a very future development. Next one is education. Here, yeah, at, at any cost, Human are the one which has brought the better education. We know we do live in this society and we are getting the proper education. And we know there are many people who are the need education. So we must be 
thankful to us or we must be thankful to our society where humans has arranged our very buildings and our and many facilities for human like us to study so only we are writing information because we are coming to schools colleges and everywhere so next one is business business art culture and social science and in the many fields human has brought up a very fascinating changes and the only human the how i think or how i can bring up a change in my own art so i think i can bring up a change in this way i can put up this business something but this might be not the thinking of you and every each individual of you every billions of people are having different sort of um thinking capacity everything and whole the humans together form this world and exactly ai is a result of what human intelligence is ever ever how much the artificial intelligence brings to change it's all the benefit of how human intelligence has worked okay so i have uh, told about how really the human intelligence works uh, murisa asked me to include the topic of how neurons works in the brain and we know we can't explain how reality this if i think something or i need to do something it brings up with me in seconds within seconds we are able to collect different different messages different different topics to cover so just think how a society of people and including of many of the people so how the ideas how the startups how is the uh, development in society comes it's all because we are fascinated we are built in a way that we are having a very future in brain so let's move to the best invention of humans that's artificial intelligence okay oh, so do you, can i ask you something now can you imagine a world where ai do not exist can you no i think it has brought a very big fast changes in most of the fields right we are using you know most of the people are doing now assignments in chat gpt you will be just uh, no need to work hard just chat gpt if you ask you for something okay i need that topic to be covered within seconds it is able to produce the best result that can be brought for you that means what artificial intelligence or ai being a part of us within day by day now we are living in a world where weak ai exists in the upcoming world where the strong ai and the ai which will think like a human and now the ai is almost capable of doing what the human has given the input and it will give an output but the coming world the upcoming world that is going to build up a humans build up ai which things like humans which will produce the results or where the technology and development will be at high peak okay so and it's the contributions of ai to the field in different fields humans has brought up many changes but creation of humans ai has brought very fast changes fast changes in the development so i will move to the healthcare nowadays um, uh, one of the news was reported recently that a, hu- a woman she was um, um, she was okay she she was having some diseases and she has consulted different different doctors but they were not able to know what kind of a disease this woman to have but she has Uh, shared her all of the syndromes all of the examples and she has typed it to the ai so it has given what kind of a disease do she have that means what the ai has an input which can produce or which can give us an output that what kind of a thing that we do need or it is going to help us in different different ways which will produce the exact output that do we need next one transportation like uh, sir has talked before uh, the tesla has invented the cars that do not have the drivers that means what we humans have been replaced at many sectors but it is not at oh, it is not a trap to humans but it is for helping humans 
We, I'll just uh, tell an important thing that has to be discussed. Uh, we must be having the concern that do we humans are going to be expelled after the upcoming of the upcoming AIs? No, we do not because we all need a skills and we has to develop our skills and so that this AI is a tool that is going to help us to build how our skills are working and it will produce or let's think about a future where human and virtual world coexist. Not just human exist or not just a virtual AI world exists, but we need to build up a future where both humans and AI coexist. Next one, jobs, various industries. That's what I was talking about. It is not about replacing humans at better jobs. No, but uh, locally we know that many jobs will be replaced by AI. But it is not for the job, but it is for providing more opportunities. While thinking, uh, like talking about every topic will have its causes and not demerits and merits. But sometimes it may be replacing you at many jobs. It is true. But it is replacing you because you are going to have more and more options to, to participate. Or if I am a person who are indeed using my skills and so that for me this AI is the best tool to develop my skills and to have the better jobs that I can exist or I can live in a good future. So it is, okay, we are college students. So how can we contribute? That must be, the, how can I contribute to the upcoming world which is filled with AI? We are educated, right? We are having the much education, but along with the education, developing of the skill is a main important factor that is going to be only helping you to exist in this world. Only with this education or a degree, you are not going to stay up or you are not going to have a better future. But along with how you develop your skills, that this world will with you and human world, you are going to have more and more options. Collaborations. That means what? Human and Urshu collaborations. Along with our skills and along with our training, we can be a part of these upcoming collaborations. Okay. Uh, upcoming, you must be confused at whether the world is just upcoming with only a technical development. No, it's not. We need a world where humans think in a different way or we all do have emotions we all do have different kind of thinking that if i have this sort of information i can produce it in this way you have this sort of information you can produce it in this that means we have to build a future where humans think in a way ethically morally technically not just technical not just morally not just uh, 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 willing but we need a harmonious world where both humans and virtue exist. <laughs> this is what uh, something related to AI. AI has brought up a very minute changes or minute developments in every, every, every cases. But uh, have you seen a news is why recently that a uh, image of a woman or an actress was moved by and was given by it was a video of some other women, but it was exclusively outed like this is an African actor. That means what? It is publicly treating you. It is going to be a public harm for you. At every crisis, how the hum AI is going to be a part of development of humans, also it will have a harm side. It is going to harm you or it is going to bring you a bad impact if you are not using it in a perfect way. So I would suggest us, you all are using, uh, the, you are living in a world where you use phones and uh, yeah, everything. So all you should be is, at any cost, you should be aware of your personal information. You should be personally okay. I am okay, this is not, if you are going for any factor, you should be aware that this is not going to harm me. This is not going to, uh, have a bad impact for my future or I think. 
Next one is using strong passwords. You all are using, you all might be having a document, everything you all have it. But at any cost, you should be having a strong setup by your side. You should not be allowing any other outer third parties to distract you from how you're growing or how your uh, things are being productive. The next one is privacy settings. Uh, it is also the same that you should be aware of how my things or how I should be. This is a world where all the people are engaged in the intelligence world. So everyone, many of the people might be just using only to discard you, only to bring your bad in back. So you should not be afraid for those people. You should be you using those all filters for the development of yourselves. Next one is be vigilant with scams. Many sort of scams are being uh, provided in every every day. And haven't we seen in the news every every day different different types of scams are seen? And we will be just seeing things like how all these people are just even much educated in these scams to do this much of scams. In different ways, it must be physically or it must be using our devices. That means all we should have is a well attention, a well precaution for by yourselves. And the best one is educate yourselves. This world is not going to make you down if you are educated by yourselves. If you are educated enough to build and enough to make all your opportunities, this is not a virtual world to make you down, but only to bring up you up, only to bring all your skills, all your development in all this society. This is what my topic exactly what belongs to. No, we are not intending for a world where there's AI dominate or whether the human dominate. I don't need a world only human access because these tools are built by other humans only for our sake, only for the development of us. So where only AI access, it is no also not possible. So we need a coexisting harmony in our society where both the humans and AI exist co-friendly, not for the harm, not just for the scams or not just for the harming us. We need a co-friendly existence between AI and human world, where human virtue world is for the development of every each one of us. So I think I need to conclude whole my topic. So we know we are the students. I think we all are college students where we all have our intelligence and our skills. Just not coming for these colleges to only to have your education, but develop all your skills. Use all the maximum tools that the virtual world has provided for you. All these tools are developed not for anyone's sake, but for all the development of you, me and us. Only through developing your skills, only through developing all our impacts, only we can grow and only we can bring a better impacts or better changes to the upcoming world. So, up to the upcoming world of strong AIs and all, I think we all should be developing our AI and be a part of a world where we must be even able to contribute the development of AI. Means I have to train myself to bring a changes to the upcoming AIs. That means if I think at my sides and my views, I should be thinking that how can I contribute to bring into the upcoming world and how can I bring a change? Okay, I need this, I know that. How can I make use of AI to bring a change to my life? I need, that means we every individuals can contribute a little, little things to the development of this strong world. That means we whole society is going to bring up a change what these AI are going to benefit us and not going to harm us. So we will build a world where human and virtue AI exist with a co-friendly existence. Thank you.